What are you waiting on? You want to go for a ride? Or you want to drive? You can drive if you want. All right, I'll drive. Yeah. What is up? Well, I'm back to just me. My son had to head back to Winston-Salem, so he's out. And uh, I don't think Winston's coming today. I think it's going to be tomorrow to finish the free bucks that you should have seen in the last video. So uh, Drew Turner, who is my rep with Nadura, he's with uh, Concrete Supply out of Charlotte. He drove up and brought me some missing parts I had because Kevin, my uh, the transport guy we featured a couple videos ago, he was on a long haul from went to Florida and got stuff. Then he was headed to Chicago, so. Uh, Drew brought me the stuff and there's some things I need to finish up the garage, stem wall, and um, across the top and all that. So I'm going to work on that today. I've been working on the, you know, got jumped on the pool for a while. So I'm going to get back on the basement today and uh, I'm trying to get Marshall that was here with Aaron from Missouri, trying to get him and his crew to come come out and help us finish up punch list stuff because we really want to go ahead and get this thing poured in uh, the week of May 6th would be great. It's going to be tough. Uh, kids are back in school and it makes for really short days for me um, when that happens. So, But it is what it is so we'll see what we can get done and uh, I feel like this is Friday uh, April something 26 I think so and uh, I feel like by the end of this weekend I'll really know what's going on and uh, what our time is gonna be so I uh, should have already seen this because uh, pretty much got that ready I didn't did not do any filming yesterday so maybe you haven't seen that so the pump room was mostly done in the last video now it's complete uh, one thing that's going to happen is so the actual height of the pump room is on the left So I've got to cut that corner down and that corner in the back It's a little bit just not out much but a little bit so a little bit of adjustment The floor here. So the actual deck is two inches higher than uh, The top of the foam right there. It'd be nice that it's a uh, very insulated wall So I don't really have to worry about the pumps freezing in winter time Although I'm going to put a mini split in here uh, just to take care of humidity and I'm putting sleeves in there and then run all my pipes in and all that kind of crap and get everything ready Electrical conduit. So I'm going to uh, Take a heat gun. So instead of doing a sharp 90 there to that wall I'm going to kind of do a My own bends on those and get all the electrical over to that wall Two three inch pipes come in here get combined go into the one pump and then come that pump turns up and feeds all the returns into the upper pool to make the waterfall work. Uh, there's two sand filters that go back here. All the returns coming from the lower pool come through here. So they'll probably set a pump here and a filter here to return that back. And then another one over here. So a lot of this will be kind of open. We've got a geothermal unit that we're going to play around with. We haven't specced it yet exactly with uh, offloading some uh, stuff with the house into the actual pool instead of the ground. So see how that goes that's going to be interesting so we'll have plenty of room in here now like i said in the last video the steps were supposed to come down here and we nixed that steps will be over here so casey's coming by today we don't have any kind of drawing outside landscape nothing i've got software to do that with so eventually when i care about it i'm gonna get into figuring all this out this ought to be dug out some more and steps put in i'm probably going to do a curved step over here that kind of come lands down here and on that so 64 inch change of elevation from here to the patio that we have to do steps for right dog dog checking everything out what do you think yeah <laughs> pond's getting there slowly but surely I've got uh, some stuff coming in to stake the trees better and have them tied up, but I went around and pruned them yesterday, so they're in better shape. This thing's still running, so that's just how that is. I won't do the plumbing till after the pour, 
because we're not going to pour the floor in there yet. So that way I can get everything around like I need to. And people aren't running all over the pipes and stepping on stuff. A lot of strapping left to do. I had to order more zonts. That's the little pieces that hold the two by four. So to finish this out, there's some places up there I want to use zonts too. So I've explained how that makes that better. Um, but yeah, that's done except for me cutting those things and a little bit of strapping. We got that window in. So I'm going to finish building out this wall and finish the garage. Yeah, it'll be this wall. So you'll see that. So I'm going to take the top course off over there because it's a six inch difference because of the way everything worked out with the step footers and everything. So uh, the top course of block, instead of being one 18 inch block, is going to be two 12 inch blocks to give us 24 instead of 18. Fill that in so that'll happen here too. So when I get a, uh, so my plan of uh, avoiding and uh, staying in the seams might not have worked out for here because, right? I just thought about that. Stay yapping. I better get to doing something. Are you going to help or just watch? Hmm. So let's see if you can maneuver this ramp. Oh, you don't need a ramp. <laughs> uh, James built this table for Quincy to do the pre-bucks on. He got it in here by himself. Cuts and stuff we had except for the plywood is new. Everything else is the stuff we had laying around. So that's good. What? What is it, dog dog? Huh? Okay. Who's here, guard dog? Who is it? Who's here? Let's go see. Look, dog dog, it's Tater and Donnie. Morning, dog dog. Oh, the real boss is here. Oh. <laughs> I just came to get dog dog. I don't have makeup on either. But here I am. Aren't you cold, Tater? Oh my god. Look at me, I'm freezing. I'm a furnace. Oh my god. I stay I stay hot. Wow. I sleep with my air conditioner on sixty one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, gosh, you, uh, you got it all done. Are you going to show mama who's boss? Uh, show them, dog, dog. Oh. <laughs> False so start. I guess my only question is the only thing we really have to finish deciding on is if we're going to do the stairs within or... Oh, the stairs are definitely being done over here. Yeah, okay. Like so, we talked about. Yeah. yeah. And okay. my thought is, and Casey's coming today, so my thought is, you know, because... Those corners I still have to cut down. Mm -hmm. Everything the patio is the height of the wall. Mm -hmm. So my thought is that we come there mm -hmm. and do like a curb set that ends up facing the pool when we get to the by the time we get to the bottom. Yeah. Does like that instead of a straight set and then you walk over. I'm just gonna I wanna see over here real quick. Watch out, don't go. Okay. Insurance paid up. Wondering, I was like, that's why I was looking. Yeah, I was looking to see if there'd just be another door on the other side to walk right through it. No, because all that'll be patio up there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, all of this gets filled back in with dirt, okay, and gravel. Man, yeah. this is tiny, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is looking amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait for really hot weather. Well, at least when I'm working on the house, I can just jump in the pool when I get hot. Yeah. You gonna jump in the pool? Oh God, we're gonna have to get her groomed like every week. You hear with that? The water with Golden Doodle's hair, you know? Yeah. She's not gonna jump in. I don't know. She may come sit with me on my little. Yeah, she might sit on the sun shelf. Yeah, the sun shelf. I don't know why I can't remember that name. Me either. But I'm glad I had that idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, thanks. I can't wait to build that too. Thanks, appreciate it. All right, well, I gotta get to work because you know, only have I'm like to do something. I know. Everybody else doing everything for you. Vacation's over. <laughs> Yeah. The geese tried to attack me. Why? Because there were two ducks and it's our OG goose. Oh, well, she's just protecting things. I know, but she should know me. Well, just kick her in the teeth then. Oh. Well. All right. Well, Doc, Doc and I are going to go back that way. Hopefully we survive. Good luck. Okay, bye. I love you. Love you. Woo. Look at you. Like trick biking. get back to work like I haven't been working. Y'all know the truth. All right, well, my day is closing fast. This is, uh, you know, I had to bounce out and go get the girls like I knew uh, like I do today and next week. But anyway, so I got some of this wall built, as you saw on the time lapse, got it tied in. Uh, I left that one down low. I may end up running it up um, since I ended up having such a span there, but we'll see. Anyway. So that pre-buck is in there and yada yada that's coming together see on the time lapse quincy built all or cut all the pre-bucks that we had we're short big shot but i'm the one that counted that so can't even complain to anybody five of these are the windows for the little curve here ta-da so we'll get that, and uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna finish stacking that so I can feel like I actually got something done. And then I'm going to cut this out finally so that we have our actual height for uh, the floor. And then I'm gonna take some uh, CMU block and some two by eights and run them across here so that we can walk through here instead of walking around all the time. Uh, I'll probably definitely do that one over there. That'll be good. Good spot to walk through. And uh, that'll be tomorrow. And then get some more spray foaming done. And then I'm going to be jumping back well. And I got the garage too. So yeah, so next week we'll be finishing, starting back on the uh, uh, radius deal. So. How do you keep on going when everything you know Falling, falling to pieces How do you keep on rolling, rolling with the punches Without something to believe in Oh, I don't know But I know it's worth the wait
All right, now the work day is coming to a close. I did a little bit of time lapse on what I was doing out here, but not much. Um, so here's what happens. Oh, I kind of covered this one up. So this is the door for the pool bath. So inside is cut down four inches lower than outside. So when we pour the concrete in here, the concrete will pour up to there. So I will have a piece of wood during the basement wall pour that will come out after the pour so we have a place where that pours in so it's all finished the same you see i've got a little just a little gap to run all the way up which we're gonna have to just I, basically after we put that on and we put the pre-buck in i'm gonna measure from there to beside the plumb wall and i'm gonna do a full sheet of plywood basically screwed in everything there for extra bracing and I've already talked about I got more zonts coming too, so I can put a two by four in there and strengthen it up. Over here, we got to fill in all the way over to here. That's what I was talking about in the video a little bit ago. I didn't know if I wanted to shift the door a couple inches. Actually, it's about three, three inches one way or the other so that I didn't have such a thin piece on one side. But then I decided, you know what? It's just some more strapping. It's just some more work. So why do I not want to have the door in the center? So I know it's probably throwing you off since that opening is there, but it's that corner to that corner is the, and then that is center of that. So the door will be centered, which is what we actually want. Over here, I've cut the inside of the big doors, but I haven't cut the other side yet. And over here, I've cut the pass-through door that I moved the other day. I've got to go back and do a clean cut. I just cut it with the sawzall a little bit. Uh, not as big as it needs to be and then I'll uh, I'll do some uh, Circular saw work and get that clean and Yeah So I appreciate the comments on the last video some way a few different people mentioned uh, Screw wax and stuff for getting in these and of course pre-drilling the hose. So I uh, ordered some of that had actually all the years I worked wood. I can't believe I've never heard of that should have dawned on me a long time ago i guess but whatever so see the comments are good so you got that coming uh quincy has all these pieces cut as you probably saw in the video so we still have to assemble them so plenty of time to do some pre-drilling and all uh do 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 see so yeah so we're just keeping on keeping on but back on the house uh, i'll cut that out tomorrow put go to lowe's or, or Home Depot. I'll make a big box run and I'll put in uh, two by 12s on the bottom that will be coming out later like I talked about for that little gap and cut that one down at least that'll be uh, ready and then I can go ahead and put the pre-bucks in on the side and the top piece and of course with these I'll have to have bracing inside as well and then you get to see what it takes to build the lentils that's going to be a lot of fun so we'll get into that and uh yeah we'll just keep plugging away at our punch list so that's what we can do appreciate you hit that like button if you liked it if you didn't like it hit the dislike button leave a comment and uh that's it see you in the next one actually it's not goodbye i forgot james has been up here working all day so we need to show his handiwork and y'all can grade it oh look at that man it looks a lot better just a little bit of trash to sweep up that ain't bad Another old Bose cup. Wonder who left that here last time. Not me. Well, me either. No, I've, I've had, everyone I've had throw away or went with me. Maybe throw that one away too. Yeah. Just in case. But no, we'll cut that out. Oh man, that looks nice. See?
got that so all that'll be for nothing but parts and stuff and then you got this one got power up here we'll have some lights soon uh this has always been up here we just moved it over here and it's probably too dark but we moved one of my other boxes up here too so now we got plenty of tools this old table which i love and honestly forgot i even had man i like this thing i miss it so that's great so we got a little bit of workspace he built some shelves so we got more places to put our stuff equipment will go back there like uh i mean tools yeah i built one more shelf in the back yep man we'll get into some light so we can see this has got to build one more shelf in the back and another little rack to hang some stuff on yeah a little stuff but man that makes all the difference then we'll have space to do things so we got a little work trailer uh we might want to put some spray foam on the ceiling and get a mini split in here before the summer sets in too much. Yeah. And uh, that's it. So James has gotten himself a GoPro or a couple of them. Got two of them. So as soon as he comes up with his channel and sets it up, I'll let you know what it is. And uh, y'all can check him out. The Adventures of James Brown. That's just what you should name it. That's it. <laughs> oh. There'll be some stuff though, and occasionally you'll see some uh, behind the scenes stuff that I'm sure he'll film when he's out here too. But he does a lot of other stuff too. He just doesn't hang out here. All right, well, see you.